Air National Guard is a reserve component of the United States Air Force and serves alongside active duty Air Force members in times of a national crisis. In addition, the Air Guard serves the state and local community in a wide range of capacities. The reason people join the Air Guard is as diverse as our members and includes such reasons as a deep desire to serve their country, money for college, travel, new job skills, and the pride that goes along with belonging to the greatest military organization in the world. I joined because I felt a calling to serve my country, but I didn't want to be far away from my family, so the Indiana Air National Guard was a perfect fit for me. With over 95 different career opportunities to choose from and 100% paid college tuition to any state-funded college, why not give us a call? Call 1-800-841-3103 or visit online at goang.com to find out more. Again, that's 1-800-841-3103. The Air National Guard, guarding America, defending freedom. I can't believe it. I've been playing 4 on 4 with a barbershop quartet. Nah, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Yeah. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Morning face. You get is when you don't sleep well. This is what happened to Linda. Morning, guys. Good morning. Ah, what is that thing? It's me, Linda. Oh, my God, it talks. Run! No, it's me, Linda, from HR. It looks hungry. Save the children. Save them. Stay back. I've got me. Ow, they're one of my eyes. Quit moving. It's called beauty sleep for a reason. And there's never been a better time to get some. Get 20% off IKEA salt and mattresses. IKEA, love your home. And welcome back to the balance. Nine one seven eight nine eight five one six is our digits. Joining us now is the one, the great, the the great. I, I don't know, just the great one, Matthew Hicks. I, I was going to have something all lined up there for you, Matthew, but Vuva or I don't know. I, just it sounds it's great. Just the great one. Take great. I, I, I can hey, live in great. I mean, I can't live up to great, but I can live with it. <laughs> Unlike the Indianapolis coach, but we're uh, salute to uh, the service academies today. Uh, Army Navy game. Uh, what say you, sir? Oh, absolutely. You know, every year, you know, it, it uh, it's awesome that they get the um, the uh, just the, the the opportunity to feature themselves mm-hmm. in the only game. Uh-huh. You know, and that's it's great. The traditions are great. You know, it's one of those that I can't tell you who wins that game year to year. I, I don't have a vested I interest. I can't. My fam- <laughs> I bet you can. Now my family's all Navy, so I, you know, I root for Navy. But, but, um, but at the same time, just the tradition and and you know the camaraderie between the two academies. It, it is like, what an off, awesome lesson for young people to watch those two academies get together and play, you know, a great game. And, and truthfully, the, man, both teams in recent years have just – maybe, I guess, a little more so uh, – have just had this great success. And it's it's a fun, fun day to, to watch. And um, I guess the weather's not going to be great, which that's football, right? I mean, that's what it's all about. So There's something about an Army-Navy game in the snow. I'm going to tell you, there's just, there's just something yeah. about that. So, Absolutely. yeah, I mean – uh, of course, Army won it last year in a nail biter, um, three years in a row. So we'll see if we could go with a four peat. Uh, I'm Army, my son's Marine, so he's Navy, and so. But it is, I mean, and just the the ceremonial, uh, everything yeah. behind it. And 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 here's 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 one of the things you won't see uh, in today's game. You won't see a single offside penalty. Yeah, it'd be shocking if you do. They're two of the most disciplined. 
uh, groups. And I, I tell you, it's, it's uh, President Trump will be there, like him or don't like him. But the point is, he's the Commander in Chief's Commander in Chief's trophy. And one of the uh, traditions or ceremonial things, he walks out for the uh, toss of the coin at uh, the beginning of the game, depending on whichever the home team is is where he'll be at in the first half and the second half he'll be over there. So today he'll spend his first half on the Navy sidelines, and then as part of the halftime ceremonies, he'll rock across the field with his Secret Service agents and to the Army side, and he'll spend that. And that tradition was started back with uh, John F. Kennedy. So a uh, great time to just sit back and reflect. And, you know, it's, it's a football game, but, you know, so much so far deeper that these academies do. They train our officers, and this is what our, our salute to the service academies in the next half hour. We're going to be uh, uh, saluting the Air Force Academy, the Navy Academy, and, and uh, West Point as well. Uh, but just a, a huge, huge uh, deal because behind the scene, behind it all, they're soldiers. They're not just college kids. No, couldn't, couldn't agree more, and they all have – uh, you know, they all have a, a, the heart of a servant to, to do what they do. Um, they get their, you know, they get their training, their education, and then they go serve their country, which, you know, I mean, what a, it, there's not a more noble thing to, to do that. And they, they, you know, it's great that they get to play football to showcase those abilities, but, but really in the end, they're all, they're all officers, they're, they're all uh, soldiers. And, uh, and that's just, that's fantastic. Absolutely. Well, let's get on to uh, the topic at hand, and that's the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, uh, Matthew's uh, joining us today to talk the Homer card as we're located high atop the Balance Studios in the west suburbs of Indianapolis. Uh, but uh, the Indianapolis Colts, uh, for a lot of reasons, and, 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 and let's talk about this. Let's unpack the white elephant in the room. I think uh, us conspiracy theorists think that this uh, injury, air quote, of uh, Adam Vinatieri is – a polite way for the Indianapolis Colts to send him in. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate that it, it comes down to this and maybe he'll be back next year, but my guess is that he won't. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the struggles of Adam Vinatieri. We could, we could point and maybe I don't like to lay blame only on Adam Vinatieri, but we could certainly point to a couple of three games where one might say, Hey, had it gone another way, we could have won that, and we could have been having a different conversation about the Indianapolis Colts. And certainly, it's not the the sole fault of Adam Vinatieri as to why the Indianapolis Colts are where they are at now. Uh, but in a lot of ways, the Colts are exactly where we thought they would be at about this time of year, at the beginning of the year last year, uh, not knowing what was going on with Andrew Luck and Jacoby Brissett. So, uh, talk with us a little bit from your view, uh, the Indianapolis Colts, Adam Vinatieri. And uh, what are your thoughts as, as to where the Colts are today? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, is a, it is a drag, you know. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. You know, you, you want uh, a player of that caliber to be able to go out on his own terms. And, indeed, maybe he still can, which that would be cool for him. Uh, whether that's here or elsewhere, I don't know the answer. I don't think anybody does at this point. He's saying he still would like to play. And I think if he can get healthy, he, knowing him, he probably will. Listen, the reality is we've seen this year there's, there are, there are uh, 32 teams, and I think there are about 28 legitimate kickers, right? So, I mean, he'll find a spot if, if he indeed can get healthy. Whether, again, whether that's here or elsewhere, I don't know the answer to that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I don't like to blame it all on one guy, but the reality of it is when you lose a game in overtime um, like you do and you're, you're missing kicks and you lose a game – uh, by uh, by a touchdown that were that you were you know you happened to go for the full score when you could have maybe been able to get a field goal to tie. Um, li- listen, there, there's no question that's the case. But in general, this passing game since really since about week five has not been very good. Uh, there's uh, you know whether you want to blame it on the wide receiver injury or indeed the quarterback play, or listen, I think there's, I, I know we have a great offensive line that we, the Colts have a great offensive line, but in reality, they've not played great pass blocking uh, uh, an effort this season at times. Um, you know, I have theories as to where that is, but I'm not, you know, I'm not smart enough to know for sure if it's indeed a, a giant drop off at the right guard or if, 
enough tape on the right tackle has been has been made that they can now figure out how to speed rush him. I don't know the answer to that. But but reality is, you know, it's amazing when you're six and seven, how different things look than maybe if you were you know, eight and eight and five or or you know, it, it's it's just amazing how different the roster looks to you. Because you see holes everywhere all of a sudden. You probably didn't see those same holes if if those two games go a different way or three games go a different way. So it's 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 kind of interesting and that's why, you know, general managers in, in the NFL are paid so much money because they can look past the emotional part of those close losses and say, or, or close wins, for example, and say, okay, you know what? We do have an issue at the right side of our offensive line or an issue at wide receiver or an issue at linebacker. And I don't mean Leonard, by the way, he's, he's all world, but I mean, or, or safety, you know, um, but, but, you know, it's, it's just kind of interesting when you, when you look at a team that's, you know, I think going to be a game under 500, maybe they finish 500. I don't know. Uh, but they're going to be seven or not seven and nine or eight and eight, and they're at a crossroads right now. I, I think I think they have a lot of interesting decisions to make. And, and listen, I, I I think the quarterback position it's one of those things. It's tough because I, I don't I don't have a, a a closeness to this team like maybe I once did uh, when I was able to get to camp and 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 talk to a few guys. But from an outsider's perspective, I don't know that there seems to be a better dude than Jacoby Brissett, I'm just not sure that he's a guy that can take a roster like this and get him to the playoffs. In other words, can he be a featured part of this roster and make the playoffs? I don't know the answer. And I'm not saying that because I think it's a no or I think it's a yes. I don't know. So, like, when you talk about giving a guy another year, I think that seems to be a legitimate roll of the dice to see maybe he can. At times, he's looked really good. Uh, through the first four weeks of the season, he led the t- he led the league in touchdown passes. He was he's incredibly efficient with the ball. He does not turn it over. You know, in the modern NFL, that's really what you're looking for: no turnovers and a lot of touchdown passes. Unfortunately, the passing game, whether enough again, I don't know what the answer is. What wide receiver injuries or just enough tape has gotten out there on on Brissett, it's not been the same. So you have to you have to look at that. Well, absolutely, and you know, here, here's the thing about Jacoby Brissett. I mean, he's he's he shows sparks of 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 he's got the leadership of what it takes. But then oh. we see things happen. We see him make uh, passes that are just uh, I don't know. It's it's it, it, it's well, kind of odd. And, and not to interrupt you, but, but I, I think you're so right. The leadership, there's it's unquestioned, right? I mean that that you see, you can see that from post game during the game, like the leadership, zero question there. But he, I mean, the the reality of it is, I mean, you know, when we're watching live television and can see guys wide open and that not he's not getting the ball, like that's an issue. Now I think last week the first half that 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 was much better, uh, reminiscent of the first four weeks of the season. But um, yeah, I mean I think I think there's something to be said about uh, a happy medium there of yeah we don't want you to turn the ball over Brissett, but at the same time w- we do need you to hit guys that are that are wide open. And, and I don't mean to be a jerk about it because like I mean I get no, it. Like, could I do it? Heck no. But I mean <laughs> but they are open. I mean he's got. Re- I think the, the narrative early was the receivers aren't open. Well, that's not true. They, they're they open. It's just he's missing them. And a lot of that is the reality of it is he's, he's a second-year player, essentially. I mean, I know he's been in the league a while, but this is his second real season of starting. And that right, – I mean, look right. at Jared Goff. I mean, he's regressed considerably. So, I mean, it does happen. Well, they call it this – not that he's a, a sophomore per se for the league, like you said, but he's a sophomore as far as – being a starting quarterback, and they call it the sophomore slump uh, for for uh, for a reason. Uh, how disappointed it that we've seen with our injury list, and I could go through that, but certainly one of the biggest ones that we've seen that has just uh, really riddled and, and hurt us is T.Y. Hilton and Mac, and uh, just some other uh, injuries that have happened. Uh, so, I mean, we're in a situation where we have to win out at this point and we need some help from some other teams just to even get to the playoffs. And, and, and maybe we weren't even expecting to be to the playoffs this year. Playoffs, don't talk to me about playoffs, but 